Wagwan, Wagwan. Welcome back to Airsoft Special Ops, and it's your boy Yardman Ling. Um, I've, again, I've been on so many new fields recently. We went to AP. We've been to Splatoon a couple of times. I'm planning with my guys to go to Bunker Fifty One. Um, so, and in all all of these locations, or even just the people I'm speaking to who talk about going to these locations, I keep on coming across the conversation of the brand Vosk. I have this on my patch. I believe it's my head patch. I've got it over there. I don't know if you can see it. Vosk on my patch. Long and short of it is, I wanted to do a three month update on the gun and kind of just talk over it because I've heard so many, I've heard a few good things, but I've heard so many bad things. And I feel like if Vosk is watching this video or my, have seen any of my content, you guys should send me some stuff. Let me um, give a fair, honest opinion because this is what this channel is about. It's about giving you guys, the viewers, a real opinion um, so that you can know what you're buying, uh, make a informed decision as well as just have some fun nice entertainment with your boy Yardman Lane. Don't laugh at me as well because I'm in a Chelsea top guys I know I'm a Tottenham and Charlton fan, but I used to work at this building So I've still got like stuff that I used to wear um, For work so you know on a nice cool day like this you want to wear a nice little short little sports type t-shirt It was in the bag so I thought you know what? Bunny. So don't laugh at me but um yeah, so today's uh, assemblies, I just kind of wanted to go over my Voss pistol updates, what I've done to it, why I've done these things. So I'm going to put on some glasses because yes, this bad boy is loaded and you know what the safeties are like on the Glocks. Do you get it? But, um, and you know, I should probably edit it, uh, um, empty it just for safety, just to be safe. Let's just show you guys. And I do have a target in my room, so don't worry, I'm not just shooting at my wall. Um, so yeah, oh, oh, don't do what I just done. I forgot that the Glock re auto loads. So, do you know what I need to actually do is do this, and then do you see now I can shoot it even when the clip's in. That's what I was meant to do. <laughs> don't be like me. <laughs> And I'm so glad I put on the glasses just before that happened, you know. Almost scared myself. So yeah, now you can see I can squeeze it. Always squeeze, empty, release your mag, and then um, squeeze your trigger again because it clears your gun from being able to reload itself to shoot again. Because um, my cham chamber's now empty, if that makes sense. So yeah, so you're probably looking at my gun thinking, Rod, that doesn't look like a normal green vented um, slide. Um, Vosk pistol, but um, I've done a few things to it. So the long and short, let's start with the basics and then we'll work to internals. So um, first thing being first thing, let's start with the beautiful side of the gun. Um, in the in, in the first couple, within the first couple games, I had scratched up the tip. I don't know if you can see that there. Do you get what I'm saying? I had scratched up the tip of my switch. So I just thought, do you know what? Because of aesthetic, it, it gives the gun character. It shows like, man, been in the field. I've been in some rocky locations where I have to drop the gun or I have to slide across somewhere and my gun gets hit by the, the stones to come of trying to avoid a bullet. So I'm trying to slap it on the floor and it rubs across the plane or something like that. Do you get what I'm saying? So I just thought, let me leave it and give it the good aesthetics. Um, plus, it's just character, stuff to talk about. Somebody might be like, bro, why is your gun like that? I can tell them a story, right? Um, I've also, again, like these, my, my switch points, so single and auto, you, you'll notice they're now black, they have black tips, just so you can see the single one and just so you can see the auto one, they have like black tips on them, it wasn't like that when I bought it, I just found, you see because when, when I got it, I was very excited, this was my like, I've had pistols, SO pistols before, but this was like my first, um, recent pistol of being back in airsoft and taking it serious i thought do you know what the gun has a nice real feel real aesthetic and don't worry it's not loaded um so i wanted it to to, to kind of just feel like one before i invested in a more upper grade one so i blacked them out just so that even in locations when like i'm outdoors and the guns are at a weird angle i'm not guessing what i'm doing i can see fully that i've slided it down do you get what i'm saying obviously yeah it does have this 
flick to let you know um that sound to let you know but there's i'm telling you i've been in some situations like even those one time we was in like a, a gulag and the sun was just beaming so i couldn't really see plus my glasses were steamy and you see because the tips were black i was at an angle and because like i could just see it so i was about to slap it and because i saw that oh the gun's on auto i was now able to go do you know what, flip the switch back to single and have more control of what i was doing going through that um gulag kill house type era so what it was worth doing um it came with zombie sights on both the front and back but what i did over time was i left the, the back zombie sight on there um i just feel like it just gives the gun a more cool aesthetic even for me when i'm in location it, it's, it's just the first thing that my eyes rotate to and i'm able to start aiming my gun at nowhere i'm shooting so for me i love the the front zombie sight the well the back zombie sight should i say the front zombie sight um, I had to remove, which was a bit annoying because I did really want to keep it. I do like the green aesthetic it gives the gun, but um, now you can see it has the white aesthetic, small one. Um, it does the job. I literally left it because it does the job. I um, bought a gun holster at one point and the larger one, the zombie one, because you can see the difference. Like, it's quite tall compared to that small one at the front. Um, I had basically had to change it so it was able to fit in that holster. So again, just more for practicality sake is why I changed it. Um, what else did I do? What else did I do? So I changed like this, this barrel that you're seeing in there. It's black. I kind of wanted that to go with, I left that with the, the black trigger, which I'll talk about later. Um, that barrel is from a Raven. So a Raven EU-18, I thought, do you know what? Why not buy a Vosk EU-18 and a Raven and just see the differences, see if things fit, see if they work, see which ones work better than others. So I put the 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 um, Vosk slide in there and I just feel like it makes the gun look really cool. Everything's kind of like matched out, if that makes sense, like a yardy matching type look. Plus I feel like the gun has, feel like the gun barrel feels better. Um, and I believe that to be just because Raven's um, inner slide is a better quality, it weighs a bit more and it just, it feels better. The Vosk one, I will say when I took it out, it just feels very light. It feels like you could throw it at the wall and if you throw it hard enough, you could do some damage. Whereas the Raven one does feel a bit more firm. Even when you're holding the gun in your hand, the gun feels a bit more heavier and balanced. So that's why I changed that. And because of my side pistol, you just you just want that feeling, you want that reliability. Plus, like I said, aesthetically, it looks nicer. Like it just matches the gun. Um, so that's top slide out um, externals. Um, um, what else did I change? So the bottom of the gun obviously was black. For all of you guys that do know, it's what I've got my uh on my conversion kit this bottom half i just feel like for my conversion kit it was a better fit because the vosk bottom um i don't know what you want to call it the bottom trigger handle area because it the the the, the pistol like the conversion kit itself is heavy it, for me i wanted something that balanced the weight out so going for the the switching it basically uh for putting the vosk on the conversion kit made more sense for me because then i have more control over the gun whereas with a heavy body and a heavy like what would you call it like a uh, trigger holder or whatever you want to call it um it just didn't feel nice in the hand for me now i like the way this feels because what you have is a light lower a heavy mag, a heavy conversion kit, and then other little attachment things that do balance out the weight. So yeah, I know it does look nuts, but I've done a video on it. And obviously you're just seeing it with the GoPro on it now. I'm due to do a testing video a bit later. And then obviously I've got my battery on the side. And then another tripod like holder car. I wanna test the GoPro from different angles and just see which one works better. So when I'm indoors, this will be my indoor rifle, my go-to. My babes, Georgia. Because this is Georgia 2.0. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we were talking about the pistol. So the long and short of it is I switched um, the, the, I took the Vosk bottom of it. And that, that you're probably like, bro, it's not our Vosk anymore. It is because the, most of the, 
action that makes the gun what it actually is, especially on these Glock type pistols, is that top slide. From the, the chamber to the release to the springs to even this loader bit, like Vosk has their own loader bit, so it isn't even the same as another gun. So you couldn't say just because I've changed the bottom, it makes it a Raven, like it's not a Raven. It's still a boss because that top slide, everything that makes the gun shoot in a certain consistency and distance, then it, it has, is actually a boss. Um, in terms of if you wanted to talk about things like trigger reliability and trigger build quality and stuff like that, then you could say, um, yeah, because I put the Raven bottom on it, then we could talk different. But all I've literally done is it's still a Vosk top. <laughs> Um, I've changed the, the bottoms internal, so obviously my trigger, what I'm holding is a raven. And to be honest, i just done that again for weight difference, because the top slide of the Vosk is slightly lighter than the raven. Um, I just wanted to balance out the pistol, I didn't want this mad light pistol. I wanted something that if the top was going to have that slightly lighter weight, then um, I wanted to make sure that that bottom had that firm grip feel. So. Like you can see, I've got the black Raven trigger, the black holster, I've got the black bot, like back holder just to give me comfort as well. I don't know if you can see it because it's an attachment along the side. I've also done some customation customizations because this is Georgia 2. Point, well, that's Georgia 2. Point, um, no, 1.0, and this is Georgia 2.0 because she is the new newer <laughs> model of my creation. But um, yeah. And that's just more customization. I feel like not every man, but I'm a man that I like to name my guns. And because this is from a certain uh, loadout, this is my Georgia loadout. So yeah, um, what else have I done to it? I've got a grip. Um, I just feel like it feels better in the hand because the the the, bot, the lower half is it's like a plastic. It's, it feels like a slightly higher quality plastic, but it's still something that could slip out your hands. Like even now I could, I could drop it if I didn't hold it tight enough. So for me, I just wanted something that even when I've got my naked hands or I've got gloves on, there's just a bit more grip quality. It's like from I've pulled the gun, you could throw the gun to me and because it has the grip, do you see, like I'm firm, I'm ready to go. Do you get what I'm saying? So that was something I wanted to go for. Um, and because my loadout gear, like my chest plate and all of that stuff, chest protection um, is green, I just thought go for a green one. Um, things I wanted to talk about, so, Do's and don'ts, and obviously I've got the Voss clip, I've removed that bottom bit though from it. Probably like why, I did it because I lost, on one of my mags, my extendos, I lost the bottom attachment thing for it. So I ended up taking off one of the bottoms for the Raven, I believe it was, chucking it on the extendo, and then obviously the Raven one needed a bottom holster. I'll show you guys in another video, so my Voss clip mag, if you want to call it that mag, now has no protection at the bottom. But because it's for more for home purpose, like this mag is my mag that will stay at home. I don't take this to games just for safety reasons. Because obviously if this drops on the floor, release straight away and it could be dangerous for all of us, me and other players. So, But yeah, um, three months later, how do I feel about it? Obviously I've had to make adjustments. And I've made those adjustments because I feel like if I didn't, the pistol wouldn't last as long because it is a more cheaper build pistol. I probably paid like 70 quid for it compared to the 100 quid, maybe 110 quid I paid for the Raven, um, which is still affordable. I think the Raven was definitely a good buy. Um, so yeah, I made adjustments because I just don't feel like this pistol would have the long-term durability. However, because it was my first gun and I feel like it was just reliable at the time, it done what I wanted it to do, it was good for testing. Um, those of you who follow the channel, especially from the beginning videos, you'll see it was the one pistol I had for, for Airsoft, so it just made sense, like it made a lot of sense, if I'm to be real. But um, yeah, like, and, and I feel like for me, it was an educational thing, so it made sense keeping. Plus I built like a relationship with the gun, cause it was the first thing I was able to take to an Airsoft gun as my own um, pistol. Also, things like the weight differentiation, like I said, where I've got the lighter top, the slightly heavier bottom, the, the slightly heavier inner barrel now, and then a mag, it just feels nice in the hand because it feels a lot more balanced. It is a bit top, um, top 
top light, but that's just because this slide is not as heavy as my Raven slide, for example. But um, for me, that's good because I can just hop around corners easy, switch, you know what I'm saying? Move around things very easy. It's like I'm there, I can move, I've got the flexibility, um, but I've also got the weight to let me know, I right, you stop when you get there. Or you, you know what I'm trying to say? So, um, the one thing I say I would say is, for people who don't want to do customizations, don't have the time or is not as confident as me when it comes to these things, uh, Vosk have to think about that because some people just want to take a gun out of a box and want to be able to use it for a whole year or two, put it back in a box and then resell it. So you have to build something that's worth that. And some people will probably say they have, you have to spend 500 pounds for it. But you have to think some people are coming in as beginners. They want something that will at least last a year. And I feel like, like I said, if I didn't do things like open the gun and grease it down or keep checking things like my spring, um, it just wouldn't have been worth it. And like I said, I've done customizations. Like I've put tension on my, my front spring. I don't know if you can see it hangs out slightly, but I've done that just so that, for example, when I shoot it, and I'll show you again, it just kicks a bit, like it gives it a bit more oomph. It feels better in the hand. Plus, it's it's just a more a bit direct. Like my, I don't know. I wish I, you guys could see what I'm seeing. It's like exactly where I'm pointing is exactly where my pellet's going. It's long and short of it. So yeah, like that's why I've done that customization. I did do things like clean the inside barrel, um, the spring that's actually in the loader. I changed um but yeah one thing that did happen the other day like I said in one of the games I believe somebody spammed the trigger or dropped the gun one of the two and um the the loader spring had come loose and just wouldn't load it was just jamming every time I'd cock it back it would stop three quarters of the way and look like have tried to double load two or three um pellets which meant that the barrel was now jammed and you have to clear the gun and then you try it again and it would do the same thing again um, and it was again a simple fix. It was genuinely, genuinely a simple fix. Let me take that out, just for safety's sake. So now I can squeeze the trigger again. But um, yeah, it was so easy to do. But just as a, a voice to or an opinion to Vosk, it's like you have to remember that not everybody is like me and wants to sit here with screwdrivers and take things apart and then re-grease it down. Not everybody's like that. Some people literally just want to. Do you know what I'm saying? Take it out of the box, use it, put it away again, take it out of the box, use it. So you have to take these things into consideration. I feel like with my Raven, I have been able to kind of do that because it's just a better build quality. However, with me, I'm still going to go through it and grease it down and clean it and these things after games just to make sure I get the distance so that my guns are clean and well looked after and maintained. But um, yeah, like... I, I won't say I'm not happy with it. I will say that I understand people's frustrations because even one of my team members, I think Tim was saying to me last game, he bought a Vosk, he, he flipped on auto the first time, it jammed and broke. And part of me wanted to say, do you still have the pistol? If so, give it to me and I'll fix it because... And you know what, maybe that's something I'll do at the next game, I'll say that to him because now I'm thinking about it, it's like, I just don't think people have given Voss enough of a chance. Like, like I said, a couple customizations has made this probably my best. This is probably the best handgun I've played with since I've come back into Airsoft. And trust me, guys, I have played with other people's Ravens. I have played with uh, WEs. Like, there was a game where one guy lent me his WE. Um, there was also a game where, like, I kept on approaching people and shooting their pistols and... That some of them had high cats and don't get me wrong high cats are amazing pistols however it just didn't give me what this gives me and like i said yeah it is it is something that i have customized so we can't just say yeah it's just a right it's it's just a boss it's basically a boss slash raven conversion with customizations however they, they, their expensive guns don't give me this like do you gonna i'm saying say the feeling that gives this gives me plus like i said little things like just the accuracy bro like i'm sitting here two three meters away from this thing and bro exactly where i'm pointing like where my pointer is pointing is exactly where like bro i'll do it right now again like just to prove what i'm saying in terms of consistency do you get what I'm saying? exactly where i'm pointing 
That first one was a bit off though, but it's really where I'm pointing. And if, even if you look at the angle that I'm pointing at, it just doesn't even make sense how I'm able to get that type of consistency. But like, what I do have to say is I'm pleased. Ray, they, 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 they have done well. Like Vosk have done well. EU18 is a good pistol. However, definitely room for improvement. Give us a better build quality. Even if you have to, I'm not saying make the gun still that cheap, you know. It doesn't have to be 70 pounds, bro. Make it a hundred pounds. But if I'm gonna pay a hundred pounds for it, make me feel happy like how Raven have made me feel because I haven't the only thing I would say about Raven is I, I wish things like the the body felt a bit more grippy, but it feels firm enough that I feel like oh that feels weren't too much of a, a burn on my pocket. It 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 balanced out nicely. Do you kinda get what I'm saying? Um, but yeah man, for beginners, it definitely, especially even for a youth, because you have to remember, a, a kid wouldn't want something as heavy as I would want. Do you gonna get what I'm trying to say? I got a little, at least a little piece of mu muscle on me to hold something can like the weight. A kid or a girl would probably love a Vosk. The only problem is they'll probably run into the problems and not be able to fix them. So that's why I'm saying Vosk, if you guys want, send me stuff and I'll help you. I'm happy to be a promoter for you guys. However, this is just a normal feedback um review video um i've also done a couple of things like i add a customization on the bottom i don't know if it's going to show it very well it just says 48 because four and eight had our powerful numbers um especially for our empire but um yeah so that's that's my three month update like i'm pleased with it i don't have a lot of bad things to say but i just wish that boss would spend a bit more time and give us reliability because trust me like i hear what tim was saying like i have had times where i've shot it and thought oh this bloody gun i want to throw it and into the floor even the day when like i said that young lady had brought it back to me i was like oh the gun is just jamming and it's something simple it's just the spring but i really reckon it was because she had dropped it all spammed the trigger those are the only two things i have encountered that make that problem happen like say you throw it at somebody to catch it and it hits the floor a couple times of course it, it, because that jolt of buduf and the impact of buduf there's a chance it's gonna when you take out the spring you'll see what i'm saying like even if you watch a a video like you'll see these things are not hard to happen especially you have to remember some of these don't have the best build quality do you kind of get i'm trying to say so that's all it is but um outside of that i hope you guys are blessed um i hope you guys have got enough information to make informed decisions and um yeah like if somebody wants me i know you guys love oh rate it rate it with my customizations i'd rate this a nine and you probably say to me nah bruv it's not a humorex you shouldn't rate it a nine let me get a Umarex and let me see what I rate a Umarex. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But for me, because I've custom this to work for me and my like abilities in, in the airsoft sport, I have to give this a nine because it's, I can't like, as a as a user right now, so I can't think what, what more I would change to this. Like for me, this pistol is finished. I don't have anything else I want to do to this pistol, which I find interesting because I'm always somebody who is unhappy with leaving things as they are. But like I said, with my grip, with my Raven bottom, with this new uh, Raven side, it's like, what more would that, if anything, I would probably try heavier BBs. And that's the only thing, if you notice, that's still not me changing the gun itself. Um, maybe a flashlight, but because I love my gun holstered, I don't want a flashlight. Do you get know what I'm saying? Because then I'd lose that ability to holster my gun. I think maybe a flashlight on my rifle would be better because then when we do like dark indoor locations like bunkers that's indoors or you know them close contact sites when the lights are dimmed and shit like that then yeah it might be nice to be able to flick on go into a room and scare some up, someone up with the light as i go in and just empty it on auto but um for the moment like i said because i can't physically think of doing anything else to it I have to rate it a 9 because it does what it does. Well, I'll rate it at 8.5 then, just to be fair. Because then, like I said, it Raven just have work to... Not Raven, um, Vosk, sorry. Still have work to do on that top slide. Like, I like the, the separation. Trust me, it was really cool when I was taking apart. I was like, right, they really thought about this and made their thing a bit different from everybody else's. But reliability, because fair dues, I probably had this gun maybe a month 
me, yeah, about a month, what, four weeks, between four and six weeks longer than I've had my Raven. I haven't had to change my Raven's loader, top loader thing. I've had to change my Vosk's top loader. So do you see, that's that's the difference what I'm saying. I probably rate my Raven probably a 9, a 9.5, just because of its reliability, it feels good in the hand. It just ticks some of the boxes that the Rave, the, the Vosk doesn't tick straight out of the box. You get what I'm saying? Whereas that ticks it straight out of the box. Um, one thing I will say though, like even things just like the, the feeling in the hand, the grip feeling, for me the Vosk kind of wins because the Raven feels kind of like a toy in a, in a little bit. Like, and that's just because of what it's made out of. It's very smooth type plastic, but I'm not complaining because that's why I was able to put the name Georgia on it. So, but yeah, man. Um, yeah, 8.5 it is. We'll go with the 8.5 because of its reliability. And if you notice, I was, I was able to just go through that whole clip, almost, that whole clip, because we've got two, four, six, and then seven, that's in the barrel. I'll, sh I'll show you, we'll go through it quickly. Yeah, so, and if you notice, it stops again. Before it didn't do it, but it was because... Um, oh yeah, do you know what? Before I end this video, let me talk on you. Don't invest in... You, there's these guys online. I don't want to put their name in it because I'm not here to tear down anyone's business, in it. But I'm here to tell real opinions, bruv. You know what I'm saying? About real opinions. So I spent probably like 14, 15 pounds on these two spring tension things, yeah? Which basically go in your inside barrel. I bought one for the Raven. One for the uh, Vosk. I bought the brand, the actual brand one. So the, the Vosk one, I believe, was 50% um, tension. I believe the Raven one was 30% tension. Hear this now. I put the one in my Vosk um, for about two, three weeks, bro. Those were probably the two weeks that I hated my gun because I couldn't draw it back like this. It, when it was an empty, it wouldn't lock like this. None of the clips would lock like this. Um, yeah, you would feel the little extra kick on the gun, but it just felt like the bullets were going everywhere and I believe it was because the tension was just way too much. Two weeks later, I take it out and then put it back in. The first three, four shots of shooting, the, 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 the and this was the Vosk, the first two, four, two, three shots, yeah. Um, I hit ping. I open it. The moment I open it, the spring just pings across the room. The the tension thing has split in two. I emailed the guys back on Carboy from eBay. I emailed the guys back, and I know this company, you know, because even my boys when I went airsoft, they were talking about this company. I was like, oh, you guys know this guy. He sends he sends sweets to you in the package, and but anyways, so. I email him and say, look, I'm having problems. I put it in. At first, I liked it. However, it, this is what it's doing. I feel like it almost broke my gun. Can you sort me out with a 30% one just so I can give a real opinion and test it correct? This nigga aired me, blood. Now, I'm, I'm a nigga that I don't like being aired, fam. I'd rather you just message me back and say, there's nothing I can do for you. You made a purchase. You broke it. Deuces. Because I at least respect you. I might not do business with you again, but I'll at least respect and say, do you know what? That bitch ass nigga didn't even want to give me back my money, but it is what it is. I just won't buy from him again. Do you get it? Um, Ed, my thing. Then hear this. So the Raven, I thought, do you know what? Let me give a real review because I'm sure there's people out here like me who like the pistol and want a bit more kick and maybe it'll work on their pistols. Do you get it? So I'm using it in the Raven. Forgetting it's even in the Raven, you know. The Raven is inside the conversion kit. Slap, slap, slap. I'm gone through one clip. Slap, slap, slap. I've gone through the next clip. You see on the second clip, I got through about, again, two, three shells. G. Probably was a bit more, like four or five shells. I hear, PUSH! Like, this didn't even make sense to me. Because I was just like, what the hell is that? I'm seeing plastic hanging out my conversion kit, you know? Like something snapped inside my conversion kit, so I'm panicking. I'm thinking, what the fuck? This is all metal. Like, how? how what? What? And then it has a, a raven top in there. Nothing could have broken. If there's anything that's broken, it's probably the holder bit with the handle bit with the. With, with Yeah, the handle bit with the trigger because it's the more cheaper one, it's the Raven one. I've opened the conversion kit, turns out it's not the handle bit. It turns out, so I've taken off my barrel, it turns out what it is is 
this tension, so even the 30% one, what the 30% one, and this was terrible because I don't understand how less tension got more damaged. The 50% one just broke in two. So I wish I still had it so I could show you guys, but say like a bit of plastic, like, um, say like this bit of plastic, yeah? Rather than it being one solid thing, this triangle bit was split in two down the middle with the first one. You see, with, with the 30% one, what had happened was this, it's like, it literally shattered into about 10 pieces. So I'm having to pick these things out of the conversion kit barrel. I'm having to pick it out of my own guns barrel, which I didn't even make sense how it got inside the barrel because this thing sits inside, like just underneath the spring. So it's not in the barrel, like it was just weird fam. So I basically cleaned up my gun, took out the, the shatter fragments and all these things. This is actually printed plastic, right? You can't leave this in your gun. You'll do real damage to your gun if you do. So I've cleared that out, whatnot. Cleared it out, whatnot. And um, just decided I'm not going to buy any of these things anymore because I found other ways. I'm not going to disclose that on the channel because I believe that's against airsoft stuff. Plus, I'm not trying to give away my secrets. But if you notice, the way that this kicks isn't standard. Plus, my barrel's hand, well, my barrel spring thing is hanging out. I don't know if you can see it. Just ever so slightly more than it should. But um, that's because I've created my own tension thing and it just seems to work. It's simple, it's easy, it's effective and because of the material it's made out of, there's no way that it will damage my gun. The thing will get damaged before it damages my gun, if that makes sense. So that's that's very interesting. But yeah, man, um, what have I got to say? Like, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm happy with it. It does this thing. Yeah, it does this thing. What, what more is there to say? Boss, three month update. You know what I'm saying?